Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, a few videos ago, we did this drop down call to action in text over an image. And somebody was asking, they wanted to have an image, have a label appear at the bottom of it, but they still wanted to be able to pop it out into a light box. So here we go, we've got Space Girl 1 here. When I click on it, it's going to pop out into the light box. Space Girl 2, Space Girl 3. Really easy to do. We do have to do a little bit of coding today, but don't let that put you off as usual. I'll put any code I write down below the video. Okay, well, let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, let's go down. I've got a row here. Inside the row, I've got three columns. Let's just delete this last image and we'll start from scratch on this. So I'm going to add an image. i roll down, just find an image. There we go. Pop in whatever image you want to pop in there. And I guess I'll use the same image as they're all that shape. Down below in the link, you can open it in a light box, which I'll do today. Or link it to wherever you want. If you're linking off site, open it in a new window for best practice. If you're linking to your own site, open it in the same window. But like I say, I'm going to open mine in a light box today so it pops out to a bigger version. Great. Well, let's just move this over here because I'm going to do a little bit of coding now today. What I'm going to do is go over to the advanced. I'm going to go down to my custom CSS. And I'm going to roll down to where it says after. And we're going to create that little red bar that you see at the bottom there with a bit of text, perhaps describing the image. And we're going to have it fade in just when they hover over it. So we need to tell it what we want. Well, we're going to put some content in there. I'm going to say content, colon, open some inverted commas, and inside we can tell it what we want it to say. So I'll say space girl three, whatever you want to put in yours, obviously. Now at the other side of that inverted comma, We'll put a semicolon. Always need to put a semicolon. If you don't, it won't read the next line of code you're going to put in there. Okay, I'm going to tell it to display block. Basically, I mean there will be there fully. And I want it to always be in the same position. So I'm going to say position. Absolute. And as you can see, I don't know if you make that out there, it actually says Space Girl 3 down the bottom there. I'm going to position it. I'm going to say bottom zero. I'm also going to say left zero and right zero. So that, in other words, it's going to have the same for left and right. And right. Okay, well, let's create a little background color. I want mine red, but you can make this any color you want. So I'm going to say background color. What can I say? I'm making my red today. I'm going to change my actual text color to white. So that's just color dash FFF is white in hex code. And as you can see, let's change it to white there. I want to pop that in the middle. So I'm going to say text align center. That's popped it in the middle there. It's still falling off the back a little bit. Now to get the background color to show up, I need to give it a bit of padding. So I'm going to say, give it 15 pixels all around, perhaps. So I'm going to say padding, 15 pixels. And as you can see, it's popped it up there. It's given it 15 pixels left, right, bottom, top. And we've now got our red background in there. Put another little semicolon in there. Now that's great, but I really don't want this thing to appear until we hover over it. And the time it takes to actually go from not being there to being visible, I want to make about half a second, maybe even a bit slower. So let's do a transition duration of that. Transition. Dash duration. And well, I'm going to make it perhaps 0.75 seconds, 0.6, whatever you want to make yours. Let's compromise, let's call it 0.7s. 
0.7 of a second. Okay, now I need to make it disappear. To make it disappear, I'm going to say opacity dash zero. And it's gone. But of course, we want to bring that back when we hover over the image. So common to all Divi modules, if you hover up over the dark writing here, some little icons will appear. If there's a little arrow, and there is in our case here, we can click on it. Set a desktop state when the mouse is not on it, which is exactly what we want here. I'm going to copy that opacity zero. And don't forget all this code I'll pop down below the video. If you just want to copy and paste it and adjust it to how you need it. So I'm going to copy that, control C. I'm going to click on the hover, the little arrow here, which is a hover state, which means when your mouse is on it, obviously. I'm going to paste that opacity zero in there, but I'm going to change it from zero to one. And the amount of opacity depends on, you can do 0 0.1, 0 0.2, increment up. For instance, if I do 0.5, you'll see it's sort of opaque. So you can put it how you want. But I'm going to have mine fully visible, which is 1. So when we're not hovering over it, we've got that. When we are hovering over, we've got that. And remember, we've still got our light box or link, whichever you've put in there for our image. So let's check this out now. If we've done it correctly, it should work for us. Let's save the changes. Little purple button to save the page changes. We'll go up to the top, exit the visual builder. And there's our new little image down the bottom. When I hover over it, that little label is going to pop up and take three quarters of a second to get there. When we take off, it's going to fade back out again. Now this little label here, that is actually the name of the image itself. If you don't want to see this, I'll show you how to do that. Let's go back into our visual builder. And let's pop down back into that image there. Get rid of that little label. As you can see, it appears even on the builder side. Go over to advanced, down to attributes. And there it is. We can go in there. We can delete it. Image alt text for anybody that doesn't know should really be a description of the image like space girl with a neon background or whatever it is you've got going on there. A lot of people actually use that for keywords and things like that. I'm not sure how good that is nowadays, but that's what a lot of people use it for. Like I say, it really should be for screen readers telling people what that image is for people with bad sight. So let's save this and we should be all good to go again. We'll exit. Go on down. There's our little label popping up. No little label by the cursor up there, which is what we wanted. And when we click on it, it's going to pop out into a little light box. That's a nice little feature. Now these ones I've got on fading in a little bit quicker. I think I did half a second on those. But I hope that answers your question for you. Really easy to do. Once you've done the first one, you can just copy and paste that code into your next ones and do your whole gallery if you want to. So there you go. There is how to add a little label to the bottom of your image and still retain the link or light box there. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little demo video. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.